So, here I am still. <laughs> it's the same night I just did my Twin Flame video. Hours later, I'm home and a meeting. And um, my son, my second to the oldest son, posted on Facebook something like, I look forward to brighter days, but I miss the way things were. God. <laughs> you know, we all lived at Johan Drive, my ex-husband's house, Kevin, in his townhouse. Me and four of my children and, and Kevin. Kevin and I were just friends, barely friends, but we were family. We were there for each other at a level that I don't think we even understood it. Me and Kevin, we didn't even fully understand. And it was just our history together. He rescued me when he let me come live there and I rescued him and I know it. It was a really special relationship, but it wasn't always respectful. It wasn't always dignified. It wasn't always friends. It was, we had a lot of issues, the two of us, and he was a real negative person, but he was good. And that's what you always have to remember and focus on is the good. Because we all have darkness and we all have shit. And so that was a season in my life to be able to live there. And it was a season for all of us. We never knew. You know, you never know. That's what sucks so fucking bad about living life is you never know when it's going to be your last time with someone. And it fucking sucks because it hurts so bad. And when you think that you're doing okay, it comes like a fucking wave and knocks you over. Thinking about Johan Drive again tonight has been so painful. <laughs> that was my home. For five years, that was my home. <laughs> you know, Kevin was a son of a bitch. He was. in the home, to me, to, you know, and I wish that that was different, <laughs> but he cooked, he cleaned, he paid the electric bill, the water bill, the mortgage, <sighs> like, I paid $800 to him and he paid everything else. We had, we shared holidays. I mean, we were a good team. He was good to me. And now I'm alone in the world. Mark gave me like $60 three weeks ago. And that's the most he's given me in a year. Oh, God. I don't know what else to do besides drive for a lift. And I don't do that that much. I mean, I try, but I haven't been able to do it like I used to do it, and I'm scared. I mean, my credit's good, but I don't have enough income to get anything on my own. 
Since Kevin died, my income's been cut in half just because I can't do what I used to do. I can't drive for eight hours at a time. I mean, I drive, I do drive for, I can drive for five hours or so at a time, maybe a little bit longer. I mean, I guess if I really pushed myself, but I need help. I wish I had family. I wish I had someone. I don't want it to be like this. I don't want, I'm grateful for housing. I have a housing voucher. I'm grateful for assistance, food stamps, and cash assistance. But you can't live your whole life on that. It's gonna, it's gonna go at one point. And I, I don't have any retirement. I don't have anything. I'm so scared. And I don't have family, my kids. But they're all drinking and they're all broken up. Kevin was the fucking glue. I hate that. Why does the glue always die? And it's traumatic. What bad's gonna happen next? Like, it makes you on edge. It's been over a year. It's so hard still. Where I live is not home. This isn't a house, it's a basement. There's no living room down here. There's no dining room down here. There's, it's horrible. So I'm going to believe in myself though. I'm going to get another job. I'm not giving up. I wish I could get paid for self-care because I'm getting really good at journaling my feelings and, and, sitting in my feelings and talking you know I'm getting good at self-care for my emotional and I'm sorry Kevin was a son of a bitch he really treated me bad and I can't have that in my life and I can't have Steven doing that to me so I don't know what I'm going to do with Steven either because I don't think he's going to change but I wish he would because I can't be around somebody that calls me a pain in the ass. I'm not a pain in the ass. Is that a bug? Oh, it doesn't even matter. But this place has such so many bugs. It's hard living with bugs. Like, it's got so many crawlies and roaches and... I don't know why I care if it's a bug. Because there's so many bugs in here. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> it probably was if I thought it was. <sighs> and, I mean, I'm proud of myself. Um... You know, I get on TikTok and I leave TikToks and I meet people and I met some really great women that I talk to and I love that. Um, and it doesn't make any sense. I seem to channel dead people and I know it, it is totally real and true because tonight I... There's a woman I know that I met through TikTok and she loves me. She's so grateful that she met me and all that. And um, her daughter's son was, mur daughter's son, her daughter's husband or boyfriend or whatever was murdered. And um, I channeled him or whatever tonight. I connected with his energy and it made me cry because he was so loving. He was one of those men that really love women. And I really want that in my life. I don't want to be stuck with my twin flame. Not the way that he is. I want a man that will benefit my life. Will be a, a rock for me. Will help, will make me the best me. 
will nurture and care for and support and affirm me and my kids, but not be codependent and coddle us. But, you know, be with me. Be there for me. I really, really want that. And I really want, um, you know, I really want to make it. I don't want to live on assistance forever. I want to have multiple income, multiple streams of income. I really want to blow up on social media or something and have like this make, like, I want that. I want to do things. I, I'm not, I'm not disabled. I'm not old. I'm not ready to be done. I'm not. <laughs> And I want to travel and I want to have money and I want to have a good life. I really do. I really don't want to be living in a roach infested housing voucher basement. That's. And I really don't want to be with a man that caused me a pain in the ass and that doesn't, isn't there for me ever. Like, I appreciate what Stephen and I have as far as that I can have sex with him and all the lights on. I can show him my body. I'm not ashamed of it. I can have sex without alcohol or any kind of drugs. And I mean, that means a lot to me, you know, because so many women are so ashamed of their bodies and don't have good sex and stuff like that. So I know that that's valuable and I appreciate that. And I acknowledge that. But I'm so scared. I mean, right now I just gave my daughter $100 to get clothes and I'm about to get them school stuff. It's overwhelming because I made $100 today and I need to make more than that. But then I came home and it was the right thing for me to do because I felt so much better. And I did a little laundry and I went to the gym. So I have to have balance. But I miss my kids. What are we going to do for a holiday? You can't have Christmas in this little tiny thing. There's no place for a tree, anything. Oh, power off. And I need to get rid of these roaches. So it is one day at a time. And it is overwhelming, and I am overwhelmed right now. And thinking of Johan, how good I felt living there. I loved that neighborhood. I loved being there. Oh my God, there's like a hair. I don't know why I have to be this fat, but there's got to be good in it. My daughter and I both have long hair and our hair is everywhere too. And I just get really itchy. Uh, and I sent Stephen a text just appreciating our relationship, whatever, because it is special. And I can't, I can't destroy it just because it's not everything that I want or because it's not security, security for me. It's not validation for me I mean I've always been scared of life and I I don't want to be called a pain in the ass as much as he was kidding about it I was called that my whole childhood and that didn't make me happy I hated it See, this is what I do. I have to sit in my feelings and cry it out. And it I it gets on my nerves. I'm tired of it. I mean, I love myself, but God, it takes so much time. And in the world that we live in, well, not just the world we live in, but I don't have any child support, any family. You know what I mean? Like, I need, I'm the sole provider. And I don't have time to be sitting around crying. I mean, I definitely feel so much better. And my health is important. And my mental health and emotional health affect my physical health. I'm, I'm, 
um, you know, assured of that now, whatever the word is I'm trying to find, you know, I'm, I, I, I know that is a fact because before I started feeling my feelings and before I came home, I felt really tired and I, I kept getting tired, but I know that as I release uh, grief and trauma, I feel better. So I think, you know, and it's no coincidence or whatever that a lot of women my age have fibromyalgia, which I was diagnosed with as well. And most of those women, all the women that I know that have fibromyalgia, they've never been loved. They all have those, they all were abused as a child and I've never had a really love relationship with a man. So it has to do with trauma. Um, so I know I'm going to heal. And so I'll just receive as much as I can. It's not that I'm begging for money, but I need support right now as I'm healing. And I'm not begging. I'm just saying I uh, will allow anybody to gift me with anything. And I'll put my cash up on everything. And it is. It's everywhere. Um, because I deserve it. Um, I've had a rough, bad life. It's time to have a good one. So I'll just keep allowing myself to be triggered and keep allowing myself to feel. It was really painful to think about Johan Drive tonight. I miss it. But now, since I got all this out, I feel like I can look back on it with fond memories and bring that love with me. Like, you know, the pain, you got to get it out. But when, as you get it out and release it, then you can receive more love. So I know that Kevin is with me. I know that the universe, you know, we will, it's going to be okay. Things are going to get better. I'm going to have money. I'm going, a way is going to be made. Um, all this dye in my hair and it's just going to fade and look like horrible shit. <laughs> so, so I'm not exactly sure what to do with all this color um, now that it's fading. Um, but it's okay. And again, I'm really grateful that I can take the time to process all of this. It's going to be life giving for me and my family. I know it is. Releasing all that toxic trauma. And um, so that's it. 18 minutes. It was actually just 18 zero zero. So, um, you know, it's patience. It's patience. Um, yeah. Every day I'm proud so much. Uh, like I used to go three days without going number two or more or more now because of what I eat I always put fiber I always do fruit I I do so I'm doing um cucumber and tomato I'm always doing and you know stuff like that in my day and I'm going to the bathroom every day like I haven't done that in years that's I'm so excited and proud of that because I want to be healthy. I want to feel good. I want to be proud of my body, proud of myself. Um, so I would like to lose 50 pounds. It's too heavy. I want to be able to be active. I want to be able to breathe. But if I, if I don't, I'm still, I still want to be confident. I still don't want to be caught a pain in the ass. I want to, I'm a beaut and I, it, and I want to learn how to put make makeup on and wear nice makeup. <sighs> so I want that and I want to feel energetic. I don't know if that's possible, but I think it is. I hope it is. I'm not giving up on myself. I know I look the worst like I've ever looked, um, but tch, that can change people look horrible and then they put makeup on and they look like amazing you know so I know what makeup can do 
I just need to have energy. I need, and I need a better income. But I believe in that. Some way it's going to happen. Believing is first. But you can't fake it. You got to be honest. So I'm a little wobbly, but I believe that of course it can happen. I'm allowing it. I'm receiving it. I don't have money problems. And I'm going to have a home. A home that I love. That I love. With a man that I love or whatever. That's prefer, but if if I'm not, I'll enjoy the hell out. I'll have friends and family that I enjoy. So, whatever the universe has in store for me, it's good. Not bad. Not bad feeling. Good feeling. So, that's it. Got to get through the bad. And I released a lot of bad tonight. So, mwah, mwah. I love me. I love me. I love me.